Hello, and welcome to another episode of How Can You See a Chain? Uh, this is the same chaos team that I uh, uploaded a few, uh, a few videos. This is round one of Chalice against our opponent Tempest Souls Dark Elves. So, this was our opponent's uh, defense on in the overtime. So, can you see the ball sign? Pause the, a minute for a minute. Okay, so the weak link in this position of chaos, of course, is being clustered together. Uh, my only explanation of this is that I was afraid of him rolling some dice. He has two leapers with Juggernaut. So when I put my uh, ball carrier in this square, I immediately regretted my decision because I, w I forgot that this witch has leap and jug, so he, it's no problem for her to red dice uh, blitz uh, this ball carrier and surf him. So I tried to cover the square. And by doing so, I I made it inevitable, I guess. So, you, what does what he has to do? Put a guy here, guard in here. Then this guard leaper goes here. I mean, in here, in here, cover cover this square, and then it's going to be a blitz on this warrior with this witch who got jugs. Uh, like that, and uh, even have uh, agility 5 for any recovery. But I think he will move her before. Let's let's take a look how 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 it went for him. So I'm putting a guard guard here, another guard over there. Just moving away, and that was—I uh, don't think that was a good idea because they are already clustered with my clustered guys. There might be some place next turn for for the chaos because this this piece was just a little deeper. He could have made it to move to here or even somewhere else. So here comes the blitz. So 1D. Just two guard and just one guard. And a very beautiful back. Surf for me. And sack, of course. So this witch, uh, before the video, I think I paused it in the wrong. Um, Time. I think she moved from the middle to here just for uh, extra safety if, if something failed. Now there's no one to pick up the ball. He's trying to cover up all the angles, cover, all, uh, cover up all of my team. Instantly, we have a lot of chain push uh, possibilities. Pause for a few minutes now and think a bit. Think a bit. What would you do in this position as chaos? Okay. So uh, the weak link in this position, of course, are these four guys clustered together. It makes chain pushes that much easier. Of course, a lot of dice needs to be rolled, but it's possible. So the aim is 
for this goal to be in this square. So we need one, two, three chain pushes in order to have at least a chance of picking up the ball and scoring. Our opponent has zero rerolls, but we are so out of position and elves are faster so that we would be, uh, I think, lost this game. Okay, so the first things first, hit the witch with our club armor, push this guy into here, this guy into here, then push stern 4 into here, and this guy, the witch in here, then blitz the witch, chain push our goat into here, this guy who was standing here into, into here, and our last uh, push will be from this warrior into this guard piece, Unfortunately, it's going to be one dice because this guy is not is, is a guard. If we power it, it would have been a two dice. Well, let's see how it went, how the dice went. So three dice, which into the goat into the push. Now stand four into the witch to cover this square. And now we blitz, blitz the witch for another push. If I were, if I were Tempest though, I would have not used dodge here and hoped for a removal. Because the, if this square is vacant, there are no more chain pushes available. Or is it? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Okay, so it would have been a, a GFI to go in here. Oh, never mind. Okay, so let's go, let's see how, how, how it went in the end. One D. Lucky pal. First cast of the game. Whoa. Safety. And 3 plus 3 plus to win the game. There we go. Thanks for watching. And see you in another video.